All set? Yeah. All righty. <laughs> Good afternoon. It's Monday and it's uh, Acoustic Paradiso here on Anderson's TV. I am Ben and I've got these, which are the new uh, travel guitars from Epiphone. Um, I don't know about you, but normally when I see travel guitars, they are uh, very plain looking, very kind of uh, nondescript, I would say. Whereas these, particularly this one, which is called the Little Tex, uh, is not. <laughs> I, think, I think it looks great. Um, it's got a solid spruce top. Uh, this one has got a Sapelli body, back, uh, back and sides, which looks very nice. It's got a Granadillo uh, fingerboard and bridge with this compensated saddle. This one has actually got an undersaddle passive piezo pickup, which um, I think you heard part of in that introduction. Uh, <laughs> but the main thing on it is just, it looks so cool. This, for those of you who are not aware, is the, um, this is the Epiphone Texan. This is the new USA made um, one that we've just done some videos on. These are amazing, but these look so cool next to them. <laughs> uh, in terms of playability, the action on these is great. It's a small, obviously it's a short scale neck. These are 22.68 inch scale, um, which is you know quite a lot smaller than your traditional 24 and three quarter or 25 and a half. Perfect for people with smaller hands, um, beginners maybe, kids, or just if you want to, you know, sling it in the back of the car and take it away. Camping or to do gigs, but you don't want to carry a big guitar. So it's, the, the finish is really nice. There's no sharp fret ends, which you sometimes get on, uh, you know, the kind of cheaper travel guitars. Okay, so of course, being travel guitars, uh, they need a case. So they come with a case, which is like this. It's got two straps on the back, one on the top, and um, it's good for putting a guitar in, as long as it's a small one like this. So there we go, that is the little Tex. Uh, it sells for 219 pounds. Um, and I think, it's, I think it's pretty cool actually. So moving on from there to this little one here. This is the El Nino. Uh, same scale length as uh, the little Tex, 22.68 in inches. This has got a selected spruce top again, um, but this has got an agathis body, back and sides, a wood I'm not terrifically familiar with, if I'm being honest. Uh, mahogany neck, uh, granadillo fretboard, again, not particularly um, au fait with it. I've tuned this one up to, uh, to G, so it's tuned a tone and a half up from standard because it's a thing I like to do with little guitars. So it sounds like this. <laughs> So again, the setup on these is really nice. No fret ends, the action's nice and low. I like it tuned up like that because you can kind of do, um, you can get to the similar territory as you would with, you know, a tenor guitar. Um, although obviously this one's got six strings instead of four. Um, looks cool, miniature dreadnought. Tempted to get one for my kids. <laughs> so yeah, there we go, El Nino. This one sells for 139 pounds. Um, there you go. It's a cool travel guitar. No pickup on this one though, so if you want to plug it in, best to go for the little Tex. Now, a first for me, I'm going to be reviewing an Epiphone ukulele. Now, I am not really a ukulele player, but I will try and busk my way through. So this is the, um, the Epilani Soprano ukulele. 
from Epiphone, all laminate back and sides, 70 pounds, and it sounds like this. So there we go, that's all I can play on a ukulele. Um, this is, um, it's a cool looking ukulele. I mean, again, it, I, as I say, I'm not a ukulele player, but I have played a few over the years. This one plays really easily. The frets don't stick out. It's loud. It's surprisingly loud. It's probably louder than the El Nino, to be honest. Um, uh, it looks cool. Binding looks nice. I mean, it's, it's you know, stuck on and everything, but there we go. That's the new, uh, the new Epiphone range. So, um, if you're looking for a travel guitar that is something a little different away from the kind of normal plain guitars, you could do you could do a lot worse than than look at these. I think I'm going to play out on the little text because um, it's my favourite of the three and it makes me feel like a giant. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. All right, goodbye.